Hallelujah. It is good for this evening. And good evening to you all. How are you today? Are you ready for the words? Hallelujah. I thank God for this privilege. And also, I would like to say thank you for Pastor uh, Ken Kip, who gave me a chance to preach the words of God. Hallelujah. God is going to speak to you. To you. Hallelujah. You will change your mind, your heart. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that there is a time for everything and a season for every activities and under heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plan and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. So every, everything have a time. But God has a plan for us. Hallelujah. That is in due time. Hallelujah. God's plan is not just like he, he, he doesn't have a plan, but in due time we will be blessed. Hallelujah. Uh, today, uh, the title of my message is In Due Time. I would like to draw your attention from First Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for us. Hallelujah. God said it. God is caring for us. Hallelujah. No one, if no one is caring for us for us, but still then God is with us. Hallelujah. In this world, many people need their everything, just uh, money and all, everything we need, a good health also we need. And we have all desire and we, we need everything for food and all, for house also. So the people cannot satisf- satisfy without God. Hallelujah. So, what they want to, what they want is what they doesn't have. They don't have. So, that's why. What we need, we don't know sometimes. But, what we don't, what we don't have it, what we need. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> don't be confused. <laughs> sometimes we are facing the problems. And sometimes we are happy and sometimes we are upset. I want to say that the world cannot be raise you up, but the world will put you down. But one of our God Jesus Christ will raise you up. Hallelujah. Sometimes when we face, when we face the problems, we want to we want our parents, our friends to help. And we are searching with our cell phone and a number. Sometimes we call that. When we call, the phone ring is, the number you're calling is our service sometimes. <laughs> but God never fail. Hallelujah. When you call God, He will answer. Hallelujah. So, Uh, Jesus says in Matthew 11, verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. The world will not care for you, but Jesus cares for you every day, every time. Hallelujah. Here the, the scripture says that, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Even though your parents did not care for you, your friend did not care for you, but you are still then hardworking and facing the problem anytime. God is with you. Hallelujah. Jesus ready for you. When you call, he will answer. Hallelujah. So, God is so powerful. When God created uh, the earth and the world, let it be the land, he said. 
and this land and this well. At the same time, this will also produce gold and all diamond and all everything, which a precious thing. So that's why everything is come from God. He want to give us. He want to bless us every day. Hallelujah. With spiritually and mentally, physically also. John chapter five, verse five to six. Let me read. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him laying there and learned that he had been in, the, in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Here Jesus asks to an invalid man, do you want to get well? Today, Jesus is asking you, or if Jesus asks you, what kind of answer you will give? We need everything. Some, some, somebody will need a good health. Somebody will need uh, money. Somebody will need a goal. But Jesus is asking, what do you want? Hallelujah. Here, Jesus asks to invalid man, do you want to get well? I will, I will read uh, this John chapter 5, verse 2, uh, two and 2 to 4. Okay, this is for KJV version. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a poor, which is a call in the Hebrew tongues, Bethsaida, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of important flock, a blind held, while they are waiting for the mo moving of the water. For an angel went down at a sudden season in the, into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then, first after the troubling of the water, stepping in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Hallelujah. Here we can see uh, Bethsaida, the pool. The scripture say that whosoever disease he had, it means what kind of disease it can heal. Hallelujah. So, sometimes we face a health problem. We, sometimes we, we may seek. But here, when we see envelopment, 38 years envelopment, it is difficult. Even when we seek for one day, it is also very difficult. <laughs> we run here and there, uh, who is a good doctor, and we prayed. Hallelujah. But here the man, and violent man is 38 years. He was, he was stay beside the Bessaria pool and sleep there and eat there. When the water is moving, if one person uh, go down into the water, it will be the first person, then the one who is going into the water, it will be healed. Only one person. So here the invalid man was only one. He didn't have anyone to help. So he is looking around here and there. All the patients are there around this pool. So he was looking here and there and hoping for a help. But what you see, one person will go down and hear rejoicing and dancing and going back his home. And when he's, he saw, upset. We, all, we also may be like that because he doesn't have help to go down into the pool. Very difficult for him. But here, when we, when we see that Here we can see 
two point, two stage of uh, healing. Number one is the poor can heal. And also, number two is who make the poor was Jesus, the healer. Hallelujah. Sometimes we, we want to move or we want to do ourselves with our knowledge. It may be work sometimes. But even when you don't, when you, you cannot do the things, God has a way. Hallelujah. This invalid man could not go down into the waters, but Jesus made the way. Hallelujah. Sometimes as the best poor, we may be thinking that. And when we come to the church, no one is talking and no one is uh, uh, caring for us. Even Asha also did not give a seat. You may be upset. <laughs> you may be thinking that. I don't have a friend. I don't have help. But here, Jesus is a way. Even when do, you don't have anything, God has a plan for you. Hallelujah. He will walk in due time. Hallelujah. Don't, don't focus on what we cannot do, but we have to focus what God can do. Hallelujah. Today you are in the presence of God. You were spoke by Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. When we come to Jesus, when we closer to Jesus, we have we have Jesus then our problem will be solved. Hallelujah. If we think our problem, we cannot solve. Today, what, what you are facing, what you are facing the problem, God can do. Hallelujah. Just rest on him. Hallelujah. So here, this invalid man, 38 years, Already sick. He is alone, but he came for Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus came for us. Hallelujah. I would like to read 10 to 11. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the towns of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. So here, Jesus, Jesus born for what? All the people. Hallelujah. So that is why you also included. For you also Jesus came. Hallelujah. Even though you don't have any ID card, Jesus came for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Jesus went to invalid men because he is, also, he is also counted as mankind. That's why Jesus came to him. Amen. Today, what kind of disease, what kind of problem you have, Jesus is coming for you. And you will be healed. Hallelujah. You will be success. John chapter 3 verse 16. I already know that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only, 
His one and only Son, that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. He loved us, and He gave His life for us to be set free from the bondage of sin. That means He wants to bless us every situation of our life. Hallelujah. In in the Bible, we, we, we can see that Zacchaeus, he was a chief tax collector and he was wealthy. When he heard Jesus is coming to Jericho, he wants to see Jesus. He, his desire is to see Jesus. So, he is short. Then when he, he came to Jesus. A lot of people are blocked and covered. So he couldn't see it. That's why he was thinking that. I cannot see like that. I have to think. And he, he saw a tree, a fig tree. And he climbed up. And he saw Jesus. Yeah, I would like to read one scripture. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come thou immediately. I must stay at your house today, Jesus said. Hallelujah. We need to wait. And also, we need to be at the right place. Hallelujah. Sometimes we are waiting but the wrong place. Now you are at the right place. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor and say that you are at the right place. God is going to bless you. Hallelujah. That day, when Zacchaeus missed to Jesus, that day was his life chain. Hallelujah. So, if you have faith, according to your faith, God will do for you. Hallelujah. Jesus has many ways for us. Not only, only one way. Jesus has so many ways for us to bless us. Hallelujah. Sometimes we think that this cannot be happened for me. Oh, I am not, I'm uneducated. I cannot do it sometimes. We are thinking that. But God look at our heart and our faith. Hallelujah. That's why we are here and praising God every time. Even though we are facing the problem, we can praise to God. Hallelujah. He will do the rest. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6 and 8, I will read. The Lord brings death and makes life. He brings down to the grave and arises up. The Lord sends poverty and wealth. He humbles and he exalts. He raises the poor from the dust and leaves the needy for the heirs have. He sets them with prince and he has them inherit a thrones of honor for the foundations of the earth are the laws on them he has set the wall. Hallelujah. Everything is in God's hands. Here it say that the Lord bring death and make a life is also. Hallelujah. Bring down to the grave and raise up. Hallelujah. Everything is in God's hands. So here, <laughs> sometimes we may, think, we, we may think that no way to be rich. Those who are working in business, sometimes you may think, no way to be healed my disease. It was a cancer, you may think that. No way to be success. We think that sometimes. 
But Jesus says, I am the way. Hallelujah. Nothing can happen by our knowledge and our understanding. But by according to your faith, it will happen. Hallelujah. You may think that by this disease, I will die. But you know that Jesus raised the dead. Hallelujah. When you meet Jesus that day, your life will be changed. You will be alive where you are dead. Amen. 38 years in Valedman, Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. That means, Jesus said only one sentence, get up. And second is what? Pick up your mat and walk. So, when Jesus said, get up, that means the sign of healing. Hallelujah. Pick up your mat and walk. This means just like healthiness and light normal people. He get back his strength before, like before. Like normal men. When Jesus bless, he will not give only half. 100% healing you will get. Hallelujah. When he bless, he bless us perfectly. Not just half blessing, 100% blessing. Hallelujah. When, you, when he heals us, he will heal perfectly. Hallelujah. So, John chapter 10 verse 10 is also giving us the thieves come only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus wants to give us abundant life, full life. Not just a half. It is a full life. Hallelujah. That's why the blessing will come in due time. That is God's plan. Our plan is, God, I want immediately. <laughs> but it can be or cannot be. But God's plan is in due time. Hallelujah. It is perfect. There is no question when God do to us. So here, 38 years in violent men also did not cannot go anywhere, even uh, at, into the poor also. No one is helping him. But Jesus has the way. Hallelujah. And Jesus give perfect healing. Hallelujah. Today, we also, we are also, God can do it. What? We are weak in our life. Hallelujah. If you want the education, if you want uh, finance, if you want so gold or diamond, God can give you. But it is a plan. It will, it will get in due time. Hallelujah. So, Jeremiah 17, verse 7 says, but blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. Those who trust in the Lord will be blessed. Do you trust to the Lord? Only a few people trust. <laughs> Those who trust the Lord will be blessed. Hallelujah. Not in tomorrow, right now only. Hallelujah. God, is, God will bless you. First Peter chapter 5. Verse 6 and 7, I will read again. Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. That means we have to slander under the mighty hands of God. And 
don't depend on your knowledge and also we have to give our heart to God and he will lift you up due time the bible said that so god promised to Ab- abraham to be a father of a nation but no way no way to get a child by human sight it cannot be it is impossible but with god all things are possible hallelujah so today i would like to encourage you wait for god's timing but it must be at the right place hallelujah then he will do in due time amen Thank you for this evening. God bless you all.